Hey y'all, hope y'all are doing well. I'm going to be reading from the book of Psalm 86, verse 11. That's Psalm 86, verse 11, on God's readiness to forgive. God is always willing and ready to forgive us of our sins, even when we are uh, stumbling, even when we are troubled by different things in this life. God is always ready to forgive us of our sins that we may turn to him with our whole heart. So Psalm 86 and 11 reads, Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. So we want the Lord to always teach us his way. Our way is I'm grown. I'm going to do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it. And that is darkness, my friend. That is darkness. To walk in God's truth. The Lord has in his word, we can walk in his truth and his steps. We can ask the Lord to please order my steps, Lord. Please order my steps, Lord, so I can go in the right direction, not the wrong direction. To unite my heart to fear thy name. This is one of the most important lines on this verse. To unite my heart to fear thy name. Not to, to fear his name as in we can't pray to him, we can't come to him because that's what he wants us to do. On the other hand, to fear his name, to know how mighty he is, to give reverence to him. He's the King of kings, the Lord of lords. He's Jesus Christ. That was, that's what fear is. The fear of God is reverence to him. Bowing down at his name, he is mighty. There is none like him. There is no gods above him. There's, there are other gods. There's false gods, lowercase g, but they cannot amount to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, y'all. So that's what the fear of the Lord is, giving reverence to his name. He's mighty. He's powerful. He gives life. He takes away life. Okay, he's mighty and powerful. The Bible says that all souls belong to the Lord. And I believe that and I know that on today. So I'm just thankful for the Lord Jesus Christ and showing me my errors and correcting me along the way. Showing me how to stay in step with him through his word. Because his word is what's helping me get through this life, y'all. It has nothing to do with no abilities I have. I have no abilities whatsoever on how to stay in step with the Lord. It's his word that teaches me, that convicts me of my sins, that gets my heart posture back in order in alignment with God. I want to stay in, in alignment with God. Once I get out of alignment with God, I notice that everything, my world begins to rattle. It, get, it begins to shake. Things begin to be out of place. I don't know if y'all ever driven a car before and your tires started going flat. That happened to me on a freeway before. You begin to rattle. Everything begins to rattle and then it stops. You, you have no choice but to stop. Likewise with the Lord Jesus Christ. We may get caught up in some things. We begin to rattle. We begin to shake. We out of alignment with the Lord. We have no choice but to yield to the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have no choice but to yield and get back in alignment with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So I'm just thankful on today of the Lord and, and how he's helping me through this life and how he provides so much peace for me that I did not have prior to my walk with him. He, I love Jesus because he first loved me. He showed me what love is. He showed me exactly what love is. Like he's been pursuing me my whole life. I've turned away from him. I didn't want to follow after him because I, I didn't think that it was possible to do. I wanted to fulfill all the pleasures I had in this life. I didn't realize those pleasures were leading me to death. Those pleasures did not give me the peace that I have now with Jesus. The, that, that pleasure was only for a season. Everything that I had that I thought was good and pleasurable was taken out of my hands. It was taken out of my hands, y'all. The Bible says it only lasts but a season. And that living in pleasure leads to death. So I thank the Lord for, for just opening up my eyes, for, for clearing my heart, for getting my conscience right with him, for getting my heart in alignment with him, to learn of him and what he has in store for my life. You know, I get excited talking about Jesus because he's so real. He's so wonderful. He's so great he's so loving and kind and merciful and if it was not for him i wouldn't be here today that is my testimony um if it was not for the lord jesus christ i would not be here today i would have nothing to say it's all because of him 
that I'm here. It's because of him that I have breath in my body. It's because of him I have breath in my body. Amen. The Lord gives breath. He takes it away. He takes it away too. So God is always ready to forgive. Some might think, oh, I'm too far gone. Or you might think of somebody in your family or friends uh, that, that you want to see delivered, that you want to see healed. They're not too far gone. doesn't matter what they're doing. Okay, I was out there. I was out there doing A, B, C, D. You know what I mean? God is always ready to forgive us of our sins. He's always ready and willing for us to come to him in humbleness. And sometimes that takes us to get knocked down before we can realize that, hey, I'm in need of a savior. I need a savior. So like me, I was knocked down and I would never forget that. That's what keeps me humble on today. That's what keeps me focused on the Lord on today, realizing that I was knocked down and that uh, God God ain't playing. He ain't playing, y'all. He wants us to pursue him. He wants us to glorify his holy name. He loves for us to sing praises unto his name. Okay. He's a jealous God. He's a mighty God. We put anybody before him, person, place, thing, material, anything before him. He's a jealous God. And that these things are liable to be taken away from us. If we don't pursue him, we are to love him with all our heart, all our heart, all our strength, our might. Because that's how much he loves us. That's how much he loves us. And um, I just recall the, the separation I felt when... I was in that pit. I always remember that, that separation, how that felt. That That is the sting of death. That pain, that's a pain, a pain that I felt that I'll never forget. And that's something that we don't want to experience. And when I think of it now, I was experiencing that separation before I was saved. But it wasn't to that extent like in hell. It was, almost, it was borderline there because I didn't have the peace. Um, I didn't have the structure in my life. I didn't have the discipline in my life. And I was separated from him because I was on my own. So everything that I dealt with, all kind of painful circumstances I dealt with in my life was magnified. It was to the point where it was very unbearable for me. Now I have peace because Jesus is here. Jesus is in my heart. He carries me. He, he walks with me. He holds my hand. He shares with me scripture. And um, yeah, this walk ain't for the faint hearted. You know, God equips his children to be strong and mighty in him through him only. Through him only. So I, I thank the Lord Jesus Christ um, that through all seasons in my life, since I've been saved, that he's always there. He's always there. And he always points me back to my testimony, just like he did the children of Israel in the, in the book of Ezekiel. When he reminded them, did not take you out of the wilderness, did not give you manna, did not give you water, did not part the Red Sea for you. I think about all these things pertaining to my life and what Jesus has done for me. He is mighty, y'all. He, he everlasting. He is a mighty counselor. He is everything that we need in our lives. I promise you that Jesus is everything we could possibly need. He's what I needed all those years I wasted. I feel like I wasted a lot of years. I'm not going to beat myself up and then like that. I'm just saying I wasted a lot of years, put myself through a lot of painful situations and uh, only to return to Jesus Christ with all my heart. That's what he wants to do, to return to him with all our hearts because he's always there to, to give us everything we need. And, um, and all that he asks is that we trust in him, love him with our whole hearts, fear his name on today, y'all. And remember the testimonies. Remember how he parted different situations for you in your life. That's what keeps me humble, remembering what Jesus did for me. And so that's all I want us to talk about today, y'all. It's God's readiness to forgive. This is from the book of Psalm. Uh, 86, chapter 86, 
Hope y'all have a blessed day and a blessed weekend.